So in this example, we're given this simple circuit here, and we're told that this is uh, the uh, model of the circuitry inside a 741 op amp. Okay, so um, this would be, of course, our input. Then we have our output A to B uh, as our terminals. And so they're asking us to find um, the output resistance, which would be the Thevenant resistance, and that's looking into um, these terminals here. We could either write that R out for output or RTH for R Thevenin. So either way, we're looking back into those terminals. So in other words, if we were to put an ohm meter across those terminals, uh, what would we expect to read? So let's see uh, how we would go about doing this. So when we think about Thevenin analysis, we think of R Thevenin, which is our output resistance. We think of our short circuit current across those terminals, and we can also think of our output voltage. So in this case, we're going to kind of work backwards a little bit, and we're going to set the output voltage. So we're going to have uh, some voltage source here that we're just going to put across the A and B terminals, and we're just going to call this Vs. So that's for some source voltage. We don't really care what it is at this point. <clears throat> uh, we can talk about that a little bit in a minute. But right now, we're just going to uh, assume we're putting some voltage across there. So now if we look at uh, this part of the circuit here, the red highlighted part, uh, we see that that's really just a voltage divider with the output being our V uh, minus. So that being the case, we could redraw this. It might help you to see it a little bit. So if we did that, here's our source voltage, Vs, and we should be coming across here with our 12K, and then it'll come down to this 4K. These go to ground, and then this is our V sub dash here. So this is really just a voltage divider. So now we can solve for V dash, our input voltage, if you wanna call it that. And that's just gonna be our voltage division equation. So that'll be 4K, over 4K plus 12K times our source voltage. And so when we work that out, uh, it should be Vs over four. So now we have our uh, input voltage in terms of our voltage we put across the output. So now we want to turn our attention to uh, this dependent source here. So we see that the dependent, dependent source is defined as 200,000 times V dash. But we've got an expression for V dash uh, right here. So we can substitute that in. So if we do, that'll be 200,000 times Vs over 4. So if we calculate that out, that comes to be about 50,000 times Vs. All right, so now uh, we have everything defined in terms of our output voltage. So now uh, we should be able to uh, do some nodal analysis. So let's pick another color here. And so now we're going to say we'll do a, a summation of the currents, right? So we have, um, we'll say this current right here, which we'll call our IS. And so this is right that, so that's IS, our supply current. And so that should be equal to the two currents going out of that same node. So the first one we'll say would be uh, the uh, the current coming out of this node and going this direction. So we can write that then as just our voltage supply over the sum of those two resistances, right? So 12K plus 4K. All right. And so now if we look at this path here, coming this direction, again, we can write that 
as the difference in the voltages, so that's Vs minus a negative 50,000 Vs. That's going to all be over 75, 75 ohms. So now if we look at this for a minute, let's, uh, let's extend this out real quick, help us to, to visualize some things here. So we'll have Vs over 16,000 ohms, and that's going to be plus Vs minus negative 50,000 Vs, and that's all over 75 ohms. So it should be clear that 16,000 Vs over 16,000 compared to Vs minus this 50,000 Vs uh, over 75, this is going to be negligent. So it's going to be uh, approaching zero compared to the rest of the equation. So we can just, we can just disregard that. Um, and so the next thing we see is this part here. If we were to rewrite this, it would be Vs... We can take out a Vs and be 1 minus, or actually 1 plus, 50,000 uh, over 75. So uh, in this case, the Vs is really negligible as well, because we could pick that to be really small. We could pick Vs to be 1. So if we pick Vs to be 1, we can pick it to be whatever we want, then it goes away. So then this becomes basically 50,000 over 75 for our supply current. So that being the case, using Thevenin analysis, then we can say then that our R out, which is really also equal to our R Thevenin, is going to be equal to our, uh, in Thevenin terms, it's our output voltage divided by our short circuit current. So in this case, that's going to be our Vs over our Is. And so in this case, uh, we could, we have the Vs still here. And so when we, when we plug these numbers in, we end up getting 75 because the Vs is cancel out over 50,000 and so when we calculate that out it comes to 0 0.0015 um, ohms which is really just 1.5 milliohms. So this is what we should measure uh, as the output voltage which incidentally is interesting because we have a 75 ohm and a 12 K ohm uh, as pathways from that node, but it doesn't matter. With the Thevenin equivalent uh, analysis, what we would come up with is 1.5 milliohms.